Hey guys, this is Dinosaur Drawer and today it's day 6 of Inktober. So the dinosaur on the list for today is the Bapiosaurus. And if I'm correct, this is a later version of the Therizinosaurus that we see in Jurassic World Dominion. Um, but it's a smaller version. So this dinosaur is about the size of like a medium dog, I would say. Uh, and it was actually uh, one of the first theropod, like bigger theropod dinosaurs that they found evidence of it having feathers. So I decided to, you know, give it some feathers. And by the way, um, make sure you stick around until the end, because at the end, I'm going to reveal something that's pretty cool. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so this dinosaur had a lot of feathers and... I decided to just go with some more accurate dinosaurs lately. So the dinosaurs that I usually draw are pretty skin wrapped and they're very Jurassic Park like, even though I don't mind if they look a little bit more like a Jurassic Park styled dinosaur, uh, some of those dinosaurs don't have feathers and they look really skin, like really skinny and you see all the muscles and the bones and and even though that's really cool, uh, for this Inktober, I'm trying to lean a little bit more towards accuracy. And maybe you could call it a little bit more towards like paleo art. Because as you can see, I'm doing a background in this drawing. But it's not just any random background. I did my research and it seemed like this dinosaur would live in an uh, environment that was about like 10 degrees Celsius. Like the average. So that means that uh, I'm pretty sure it would have like had a lot of pine forests. And uh, so I decided to like draw the background, like let it be a pine forest and uh, have some some sun breaching uh, the, you know, through the trees. And you're going to be you're going to see that later, you know, where I'm going to add some light effects with, with some white chalk. And so for the colors of this dinosaur, I used a brown color for like the base and uh, I decided to give it some yellow and some white and also some some black and grays but uh, the yellow that I used was pretty orange and uh, as you can see right now orange is pretty close to brown so it was, it was really hard to find like to see uh, the right kind of contrast so I decided to use a different yellow like a lighter yellow and go over it and maybe it would like take away some of that orangey pigment and put in like put some lighter pigment in its place. But here we go with the light effects. Just using some white chalk and I really want to recommend for everybody that's watching right now to use that. Just use some white chalks and, and then just smudge it a little bit and you get this really nice effect of like light through the through the background. So yeah, enjoy this little montage and uh, make sure you stick around because there's still more coming. Alright, so now let's compare the two, 2023 and 2024. Let's take a look at 2023. So as you can see, it looks a lot bigger, it looks a lot more scary, but it doesn't have any feathers. And I would say that the neck is way too long, the head is way too short, you know. It's supposed to have a pretty big head and this looks more like a, uh, what is it called again? Sauropod <laughs> dinosaur. So now let's take a look at 2024. So as you can see, it's just more accurate in general. Um, it has a lot of feathers and it also has a background. So. In general, I would say that this whole drawing is just better than past year. Well, if you liked the video, leave a like. Comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So this was the Drawer, and goodbye.